So I'm calling it a night on the editing because I'm just, I'm getting stuck with it and I've written myself copious notes here because I feel like I know where this is heading. I've listened to two of these messages from Dixon, Canadian guy that lives in, in Arcade, Germany. I didn't so I didn't uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, so we were chatting a little bit and... and okay, I, I've already listened to this bit so I already know where this is going. I haven't listened to the last video, which I think I know where this is going. So for the first time in my life, instead of thinking about that and making a decision, I went and I booked a ticket, and now I'm flying down to New Zealand in May uh, <laughs> for a couple of weeks. And I have no other plan. I'm flying into Auckland, and that is the, as far as the plan goes. You absolutely should come down and meet me. Uh, I mean, come on, Sydney to Auckland, that's not far. Come, and, and even if it's just for a couple of days, I don't know how much the flight costs, but even if it's just for a couple of days, come. So it's a good thing that in that two seconds, I booked a ticket, changed clothes, Pack the small carry-on. Pack these hiking boots. Pack my trusted water bottle. Extra sharp, moisturize. Hard drive, too many socks. Glasses. These are mine. Then I met up with Dixon. You're gonna be taking videos of me this whole time. Oh dude, right? I'm gonna be like. And we got a van. smart thing to do on your first day. Let me explain. I met Dixon uh, in 2016 in a bar in Edinburgh and then within 24 hours later we were on a road trip in Scotland. Now we're doing a road trip around the North Island of New Zealand. It's just on a lark. Sydney to Auckland. Yeah. I didn't know there was a two hour time difference and a four hour flight. I looked at the map and I thought, ah, I think you could probably swim it, really. And I did. Well, no, I caught a plank. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder if those are actually glow worms or something else as well. It's the scariest fucking noise I've heard from the bushes before. <laughs> yeah, I must say, like at first I thought it was a dog and I was like, oh, is there a person here? But the fact that it's not a dog is kind of scary. Yeah. But let's go up this way. Toward the thing? <laughs> it's coming from I'll up go there. First. I'll go first. Yeah, I want to go towards it because I don't want to walk through the spider's web. What? There's one spider's web. I went to the caves last night. Day two. Wrestling in the bush. And we heard this grunting and squealing. So we chased it down. Uh, and turns out that it got away. I don't know what that grunting was, but it wasn't a pink pig. What do you think it was? Fucked if I know, dude. Let's ask this farmer if he has wild pigs around. That are there pigs or any like hogs or anything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're right up the top, you? well, just the just the, the caves, just down the cave. Well, yeah, they told you it was a pig. They're a pig, so I'm, I'm sure we'll see you around. Like we're gonna see how far we get today. We don't get all the way up to the right now. Or right now or however the hell you say it. Ryan, why are you filming everything, man? Come on. All right, mate. You just left a message for me, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you did. Yo. Oh, what the fuck, you have two phones? Can you film on both? Yeah. So what have we done here? We've uh, slept at a campsite last night. Woke up early, but it just took us a little while. These are the things we had to do. We had to go back to the supermarket. We had to get currency exchange. We had to get fuel. The currency exchange took a little while. And now we're at 90 Mile Beach. 
which is uh, apparently only 60 miles. And then we look upstream and it's a nuclear power plant. So we're just walking to like the northernmost part of New Zealand, of the North Island. And it's where two oceans meet. We are unclear on what the oceans are. If you're wearing the right shoes, you can make it down. Sorry? We were eating on the way down and said no food. I don't know what you do with the apple for. And now this is a spiritual place Oh shit, are we in a spiritual place? Of course it is, place? it's where the spirits leave to go home. Oh. I find that really rude. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. My apologies. Oh, did it say no food up there? Yes, it did. Huge sign, no food. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm really sorry, sorry. yeah. We knew there was some no food places, but we didn't realise it was up here. Most, of the, most Polynesian islands. What is this? Up. Like, this is where it says no entry. No entry. That. Okay, there's no other signs in uh, here. What is this? Here. This is, no, that just is the name of the place. And now we're so far away from it. If they put a sign back here, there's no way that I would be like, oh, no eating at the lighthouse. Like, I don't understand where the sign is. There's no sign. No, the beach is just not She said there's no sign. Yeah, she knows there's no sign. Which, you know, I, I do feel bad because, oh, well. you know, that is a thing. But it's a thing. It, but if you don't know about it, then, you know, that's not really Yeah, fair. you shouldn't expect everybody be, to have done reading. Important. I think it was clearly only important to her. Yeah. Because she wanted to be in your vlog. I'm not, I don't want to play. <laughs> I'm trying to move this. I'm trying to video it, but... Uh, get rid of the chickens. Get rid of the chickens, they'll just move. They do, they'll get cars in here all the time. Oi. Well, I've just put... Move, 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 move. That does not help. We thought we'd be up and then back down. quickly talk about the farm it's a, a farm hostel where you can work and whatever I love this place it's the shit I'm sorry I've never come to I've never come to somewhere like this before we just stopped off to see two um, people that Dixon knows Emma and Nani we've gone kayaking uh, it was low tide so we were basically just walking through on these sharp rocks my feet I could walk on shards of glass right now and it wouldn't feel anything basically. Um, cue some shots of the farm if I haven't already shown that. And it's a bit bold. 